Hi there, and welcome to version 1.8 of Mighty. I want to walk you through some of the new features as well as point out some navigation tips. To start off, this is the main screen in Mighty. There's a lot to do here, so let's dive in. The goal of Mighty is to level up your player by collecting lavalings and playing games, all while using different calming skills. This is your gizmo. It's where you can see if your heart rate is in the red or blue. Mighty's default calming skill is deep breathing, but you can tap to change an active cooldown strategy to line tracing, progressive muscle relaxation, or crossing the midline. Experiment around to find out what works best for you. You can use your gizmo to cool lavalings, and you'll see the current lavaling you're working on cooling in the center of the screen. Lavalings range from common to uncommon to rare, and different lavalings can be found in different map zones. To see which zone you're in, and which lavalings can be captured in that zone, tap the map icon. You can see I'm currently in Robo Coast, as indicated by the blue van icon on the map zone. You'll also see I've cooled three of the lavalings in this zone, and have many more to find. If you want to find different lava links, simply tap on a map zone you've unlocked and then tap go. You'll now start to find random lava links from the new zone after you've cooled your current lava link. Sometimes you'll cool and collect multiples of the same lava link, and that's important. Cooling down multiple lava links unlocks new player portraits, which you can show off in the top left corner of the home screen. To change your player portrait, tap to open the lava link collection book and tap on a lava link you've collected. Here I've chosen Ryan, who I've collected two of, and you can see I've unlocked the first level of the player portrait. If I want to set Ryan as my player portrait, I simply tap an unlocked portrait of Ryan in the lower left. As I collect more and more lava links, I'll unlock cooler portraits with different colored rings around them, showing how many times I've caught that lava link. In addition to the number of lava links collected, player portrait, and the lava link story, I can also see how rare the lava link is in the upper right and see which map zones or habitats that lava link can be found in. Ryan here can be found in Camp and Blue Mesa. Alana can be found in Robo Coast. As you progress through Mightier by cooling and collecting lavalings and playing games, you'll start to level up your player. As your player level increases, you'll start to unlock more and more map zones. One big shift we've made in version 1.8 is that map zones are now unlocked by level instead of captured lavalings. You might see a map zone that was previously unlocked turn into a locked zone with this update, but don't worry, players don't lose any of the lavalings that they previously caught, and their player level was unaffected. My player is currently level 15, as indicated by the player level in the upper left. You can level up by cooling down lavalings or playing games. If you tap the player card, you can see your player portrait, the current player level, the XP required to hit the next level, and the upcoming level reward. In addition to unlocking new map zones as you level up, you'll also earn game unlock tokens. These can be spent in the game level. Here at the top of the screen, you'll see the recently played games you have, but if you tap the blue game library icon, you can see the full list of games available. Learn about them by watching tutorial videos and unlock the ones you're interested in using the game tokens. The last icon on the main screen is the backpack. Inside the backpack are the settings menu where you can swap players, and Gizmo, which offers fun ways to play with the Gizmo and see your heart rate outside of the Mightier app. I hope this tour through Mightier version 1.8 has been useful. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our family care team. Bye!